G'day everybody, welcome to part 5 of Making Super Mario Bros in Construct 2. I'm Nick Dingle, let's get cracking. This video we're going to finish off Mario's coding. Now, I did sort of lie in the last video when I said that we finished the animations because technically we haven't. He's got growing, uh, he's got shrinking and dying to go. The reason I didn't program those ones in the last video is that all those animations are triggered by something external. So his growing is triggered by a mushroom. His shrinking is triggered by an enemy hitting him, like it could be um, a Koopa, it could be a Goomba, it could be a shell, things like that. And also his dying is triggered by the other things as well. So before we do anything, I'm going to collapse all this code, because I don't need to see it anymore, down to event 2. And I'm also going to create a brand new group, because we're done with animations, and we need one called Mario's Functions. So, functions that are triggered by other objects in our game. So pretty much functions, so you'll see this little function object we added a number of videos ago, that's pretty much what they're used for. So we set up, a, if we don't know when things are going to happen, you set up a little function with code that you're going to call on multiple times in your game, and then you can call it from any other event sheet in your game. So for the moment, to set up a function, we're going to set up one for him to grow. So I want you to click S while you've got event 22 selected, I guess you can call that, to group though. So I'm going to press S. Okay, I'm going to go to function. And the one we want is on function, so triggered when a function is called. I'm going to call this one grow. All right, and that's when Mario is going to grow for us. Okay, so at this point here, in anywhere in any of our event sheets, if Mario hits a mushroom, we're going to call the function grow, and that's going to set him up that way. Now, the next step is to add some of our actions. You've got to think about when he grows, what changes about Mario. Well, the biggest thing that changes, if I just click on Mario's objects to explain it at the moment, is that his is big instance variable becomes true. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an action, Mario, set the boolean is big to true. So when he grows, set him to big. With that done, I want to test this code. Now by default, if I press play, he should be small because it is big is set to false at the start. I can run around all I want and nothing happens. Now the reason being is because we're not actually calling on this event grow. So what I'm going to do is just for debugging purposes to make sure it works in event sheet 1, at the start of the layout, I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and then I'm going to trigger the grow function. So, follow me. We're going to go system, start of layout. The action is wait two seconds. And then function, call function. So this is us calling the code that we just wrote. Grow. All right, please pause the video and catch up because I'm going to hit play and make sure this works. One. Too big. And there you go. So all the code for the big Mario is now going to take over. So that's done. I want to come back here and we're going to fiddle with this because he's not growing. He's just going straight to big. We want him to go through the whole growing animation. So this is actually going to be the last action that we perform. But for the moment, we're going to set it so he goes to his growing animation and whilst he's growing, he can't move around and he can't animate. So there's three things that we have to do there. So let's go Mario and quickly set his animation to grow, if you can spell. Okay, so set his animation to grow, that's going to start playing, but if they start moving around, that's going to break his animation. So we're going to bring in this isActive variable, we're going to set that guy to false. So let's add an action, Mario, set boolean, isActive false, and that's going to mean Mario can't animate. However, he can still move around because of that platform behavior. So, Mario, set enable for the platform, disabled. And as I said, that's going to be the last action, so I'm going to drag him down and save. So, play the animation, stop the animating, stop him moving around, and set his big to true. So let's give it a go. Count two seconds, and there's his grow animation. Now, I can't move though. So, what we're going to have to do is when he finishes growing, when that animation is complete, we're then going to re-enable Mario's active and his platform. So we're going to add that code just up here because it's to do with an animation again. So click on event one, add a sub-event, so press S, 
and we're going to find out if Mario's growing animation is finished. So Mario on finished grow. Once that's done, we need to set active to true and set the platform to enabled. So I'm going to copy those two actions, control C, click up here, control V. And I'm just going to quickly edit these to true, enabled. Okay. So those two are done. Let's just make sure they work. Grow, 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 grow. And I can run around. Okay. So that works perfectly. Now it's time for if he gets hit and he needs to shrink. Now, I'm going to add another function here to Mario's functions by pressing S, function, on function. And I'm going to call it hit. The reason I call it hit rather than shrink is because when Mario's big, he shrinks. When he's little, he dies. And we're going to focus on the dies first. So let's go to event sheet one and quickly change our function call to hit. And let's start adding some code. So when he's hit, let's just assume he's small and he's dying. We're going to set his animation to dead, disable all his movement and animations. We're going to then wait a little bit and restart the level. Okay, so add action, Mario, set animation, dead. Now we need to disable his animations and his platform, so I'm copying those two bad boys again. We're going to wait a little bit, Whoop, system wait for a half a second, and then we're going to restart the level, and you'll find that under system. Restart layer. Okay. So let's try that out. This is going to wait two seconds and hit him, which will should kill him, basically. Blech. And he restarts. <laughs> Alright. So the only thing he's not doing at the moment is doing that little animation he does when he dies. And if anyone's played the original, you know he starts, he does that dying animation, it waits a little bit, he bounces in the air and down through the bottom of the level, and then it restarts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action and we're going to do a little bit of code in between here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is wait for 0 0.8 seconds. So once we set the animation to dead, it's going to pause a little bit. We're then going to activate that sign behavior that Mario has that we haven't even touched for a long, long time. So sign set active to active, and that's going to go there. So all of a sudden, he's going to start animating. I want it to then play out the animation. So we have to wait for two seconds for that animation to finish. All right, I'm sorry if that looks so weird. We're then going to deactivate the sign behavior. So because if we don't deactivate it, Mario is going to come back up. All right. And that goes there. All right. So that looks a bit awkward. But if you read it through, we set the animation to dead, stop him moving and animating, wait a little bit, Add the death animation, so he jumps up and then down through the bottom of the level. By the, I think it's in two seconds, he goes down past the bottom of the screen, and that's when we disable the sign behavior so he doesn't pop back up into the screen. And then we wait a half a second to restart the level, because the half a second, I think, will be enough time for the music to play. So let's run the layout, wait for him to die, and then hopefully... And there you go. So that's his death. So the only thing really left is so when he's a big Mario and he gets hit, he gets shrunk down to small. So we have to play the animation and take him back to a small Mario. What we're going to do there is we're actually going to add a sub event to the hit function. So I want you to click on 25. I want you to click the S key on the keyboard and we're going to check if Mario is big. So Mario Boolean variable set is big. So all the code here is going to have to do with if Mario is big and he's getting shrunk down. So it's pretty much similar to the grow, but obviously flipped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these four lines because I want to set it to shrink, but I still want to disable him and not animate him. So I want you to control C to copy, come down, click on is big and control V to paste it. And a couple of things that we have to edit for it is we need to change this to shrink. So double click, go shrink. Disable his animations, disable his platform behavior, and set his big to false because he's going back to small. All right. And the second thing that we have to do is not only add the shrink animation finished up here, but we have to change this bit here. But let's do the on shrink animation finished. So click on Mario animations up here, group, click S, 
and wait, apparently. Go to Mario. On finished. What animation? It's shrink. We're pretty much just going to copy these two bad boys here. Okay. Copy. Paste. All right. That's just re-enabling it. Okay. If we come back down the bottom, we need to fix this bit up because right now we're saying when he's hit, kill him. And if he's big, make him small. Doesn't make sense because both of them will happen if he's a big Mario. But we only want this one down here, 27, to happen when he's big Mario. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the else again. So if Mario is big, right click on there, add an else. Or press the X key if you prefer. Now all these actions for him dying are going to go next to the else. So what I'm going to do is click on the first one. I'm going to hold shift and click on the bottom one to select every single one. And I'm then going to drag them down into the else. So on hit, if he's big, shrink him. Else, kill him. Okay, so to quickly test that, let's click on Mario. Set his is big to true. Okay, now to quickly say, our hit is still there. And realistically, first of all, he's going to start big. It should shrink him down and the next one should kill him. So save, play. There's big Mario. He shrinks. Oh no, wait up. It doesn't repeat itself. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What I could do is I'll do this again. So I'm going to call hit twice, but I'm going to wait in between them. All right, that was a bit silly of me. Anyway. One, two. One, two again. My computer's running a bit slow for some reason. And there you go. So that's it, everybody. That is our dying, our growing, and our shrinking all in one go. What I'm going to do before I finish this video is delete all the code I've got in event sheet one. So I click on the little tab on the left. Press delete, and that there is done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. That's pretty much Mario complete. The only thing we haven't really done is him going down tunnels, okay, and him jumping onto the flagpole at the end of the level. But we're going to save them for a little bit later because we haven't got tunnels yet, and we haven't got a flagpole or the end of the level yet. But I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. We're going to attack items in the next video, starting with the mushroom. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, everyone.